looking at recipes where I can incorporate uh, more Uzbek food into my normal food, my normal food, my normal diet. So I was surprised to find in the Kiva region of Uzbekistan, they actually have noodles there. They have noodles there. They have noodles made out of dill topped with a goulash style sauce. So peppers, you got beef in there, potatoes, Tomatoes, all that yummy goodness. It's super simple. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, I forgot to do the ingredient roundup, so here we go. We've got one green bell pepper, diced. We've got six garlic cloves here, minced. One juicy carrot here, peeled and grated coarsely. I've got one waxy potato here, peeled and also diced into small cubes. I've got one bunch of dill. We're gonna chop that up, put that into the food processor with one quarter cup of water. And you want to blend that in until it is a nice puree. Add more water if needed. Add two free range eggs in there and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And we're going to add in three cups of all purpose flour. Here we are starting to begin to make our dill noodle dough. So transfer that over to a bowl. You're going to want to form it into a nice ball, transfer it to a working surface, and try to knead it. It's going to be quite tough, as you can see here. Once you've done that, we're going to transfer that over to a bowl and you're going to cover it with some plastic wrap and let that rest for a bit. We want that gluten to relax, make our noodles. One pound of beef, here it goes. I'm using regular stir fry beef. We're cutting that into small cubes, adding that to a pan with two tablespoons of vegetable oil and adding about a teaspoon of spicy red hot chili flakes. We've got four tomatoes here, dicing that all up. We're gonna add our potatoes, our carrots, our onions, our green pepper over to our beef. And then we're gonna add in our tomatoes and add about two cups of water here. It should be enough to just fill it to the top. So back to our dough, it's arrested. We're cutting our dough into four pieces, we're rolling it out, and I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna throw it into my pasta maker, just like so, I cut them into fettuccine noodles. Get a pot of boiling salt with water, in, cook it for a couple minutes. Oh, don't do that, V train. <laughs> don't do that. Um, transfer the sauce on top, and then finish with some dill, and maybe a spoonful of yogurt. Enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. 